The Standard Insurance Company's successful 2012 was rewarded in December with an upgrade in its investment rating. Here to discuss the company's success, challenges and plans are Patricia achaus Chilip and John Achaus. Patricia, John, welcome. Hello, Nick. Hi. So what were the key contributors to this success? We really believe that we're here to uplift the lives of people. And that means our employees, our customers, and you know, all our stakeholders. Everything we do revolves around that philosophy. For instance, um, in our country, the Philippines, which is an archipelago of 7,100 islands, we've built branches across those islands, and that's translated into the widest market reach, as well as very localized service. We are the largest retail insurer back home, and um, we insure more motor cars than anybody else. You can have a, an accident in this part of the city, in this part of the country, and um, within 24 hours, we can get the repairs commenced. And we're making the time shorter to make things go faster. Customer experience is very, very important to us. And secondly, we are the country's largest buyer of spare parts. That gives us some scale, and we share the savings with our customers. Even little things like um, we built an app. You take a picture of a damaged vehicle, and it'll tell you exactly how much it'll cost to repair. Little things like that make life better for our customers. We employ about 800 people nationwide, and um, they're very they're really trained in being there for you when you need them the most. So when you suffer a fire loss or a flood loss, you want somebody sympathetic and that's on your side. And I think that's translated for us um, in terms of being there for our customer throughout 55 years. So John, the Philippines is particularly vulnerable to typhoons and flooding. So how do you manage this risk? Even before climate change, we have always been prone to typhoons um, because of our proximity to the Pacific Ocean. Every year we get 26 typhoons coming in. Um, recently, over the last five years, it's been worse because of climate change. Weather patterns are disruptive, unpredictable, very intense. You know, really, what a place to run an insurance company. But having said that, uh, we, pro we protect our portfolio uh, two ways. One is we have the, our own catastrophe risk monitoring system. Basically, we can take any property and say, okay, this property here, it's vulnerable to typhoons, floods, volcanoes, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes. What can we do to mitigate our risk and help our customer? For a motor car, we, do, of course, do underwriting, but we also help each driver improve their driving style. so We can track their bad habits and correct them. And then lastly, in 2009, we had massive flooding. We eventually built our own giant Ziploc bag for our cars. It's called the floody car bag. So when there's a flood, you just drive your car inside, you seal it, it stays dry. It floats, actually, at two feet. And um, that's been very helpful for us as well. So these are the things we do to mitigate climate change. Patricia, very few people in the Philippines have insurance despite the region's vulnerability. So how is standard insurance approaching this? You know, insurance penetration in our country is really very low, and we do our best to educate the market about the need for it. Um, but the first asset they'll usually have will be a mobile phone, and um, we insure that. And then they'll move on to buy a motorcycle, and then maybe a motor car, and then a home. So we try to be with them every step of the way. And as they see the need for insurance for their mobile, they'll just sort of ramp up from there. One of your aspirations is to become the most trusted insurance company, so how do you plan to achieve this? You know, our value system at Standard Insurance revolves around hard work, integrity, and professional diligence. Because of that, we do our best to know our business, and we hope that our knowledge and experience translates to a better customer experience. Um, we have branch managers who've been around for a very long time, and with 55 years of insurance experience, and you know, being there locally, that's translated to, for us, really being part of the fabric of the community. And I think people know we'll be there for a long time. John, Standard Insurance is also focused on corporate social responsibility. How do you give back to the community? Well, firstly, we focus on staying strong as an institution. Uh, we employ 800 people, and each of our employees supports directly or indirectly about 20 people. That's a multiplier effect in a developing nation such as ours. But secondarily, we try to develop Philippine talent. We support the Philippine sailing team and the national cycling team in their bids for golds at the Southeast Asian Games as well as the Olympics. That's number one. And number two, we support two leading violinists. Uh, when, since they were very young, we brought them through school. And now they're two of the country's best violinists. We support schools in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of an island chain, mainly because they're just so poor and have no access to anything. And we support quite a number of elementary and high school kids just through their education. Uh, we believe in Philippine talent and we'll do our share to move the country forward. And finally, Patricia, what does the future hold for the Philippines insurance sector and uh, standard insurance? You know, Nick, our country has seen great economic growth. This year we're growing, our GDP is growing by 
um, while the local insurance industry is consolidating because of higher capitalization requirements, you know, due to the ASEAN free trade agreement coming in 2016, we think it's healthy for the insurance sector. For us, motor car sales in our country has grown 21% this year, and we're just going to grow organically with that. With a rising middle class and better economic prospects, I think the future for Standard Insurance and our country is bright. Patricia, John, thank you. Thank you so much, Nick, for having us.